So in this video I'm going to show you the graph mapper. I'll show you how to get it set up and then we will go through an example. Okay, so let's look at what the graph mapper does. I'm double -click clicking on the screen and typing in graph and I can see the graph mapper has shown up so I'm going up hitting enter and that pulls up the graph mapper. Before we uh, do anything with it we need to change just select a graph type. Today let's just go with Bezier and uh, you affect the graph by dragging around the circles and so what the graph does is it takes a number value and it maps it it needs to be between these two values and it maps it so like if it was if we pass in a 0.5 it's going to go over here to a 0.5 and then it's going to go up and then it's going to go over here and pass out the y value so let's just uh, look at what it does here I'm going to to get the slider I'm going to go 0 dot dot 1 point zero zero and that gives me a slider between zero and one with uh, two decimal values so I'm plugging that in and as I pull it out you can see uh, where it is on the graph so let's I'm pulling out a panel now typing in panel so you can see it's 0.74 so it goes up and gives us the value out and uh, you can change both of these values so like if I go in here and say I want this to be 2 so it's gonna go now we only are mapping to uh, 0.5 in between 0 and 2 and it's gonna go up and it's gonna give us this value and then if we want to change that we can so now it's going in 0.5 up and it's going over and this uh, value is 0.15 so that's what it's giving us and I'll just uh, switch this back okay and then secondly I'm going to alt click drag down another value and plug it in and uh, so we can have two values going in to uh, Oops. Okay, so what you need to do is uh, shift drag this in so you have two values going in. And so you can see that with two values, we're getting two values out. And um, it makes a difference which one you pull in first. So with this one, we pulled the bottom one in second, so it's showing up second. and uh, the trick that you usually see is people usually do a range and they drop the range into the graph mapper and I want a value between 0 and 30 and I will let's go 7 and pull out a panel so we can see what's coming out of our range and actually let's drop this down to 4 so right now we're having we get five values out of our range and uh, so you can see the red lines there are five right now and uh, these are the values we're getting out so what can we do with this uh, information well first uh, the simplest thing we can do is create a point so I'm gonna plug in PT and then I'm gonna do CON and grab the point the construct point which makes a point out of X and Y and Z uh, coordinates. So I'm going to plug in X for the range from the range value, and I'm going to plug in Z from the uh, graph mapper. And uh, so let's see what happens. I'm going to pull up the front, zoom in. So now you can see that we have because I put 14 in we should have 15 values so 14 don't forget uh, the 0 so we have 14 15 points that correspond to our graph so 
So we have our code and it's responsive. Our model is responsive to our, our graph, but this example is kind of boring. So let's, uh, let's create some circles and then loft through them. And uh, I can get rid of these. And uh, I'm going to just uh, deconstruct this point. Um, I'm clicking on deconstruct. So this makes the code a little bit simpler where I don't have a lot of lines coming out of these components over here. So let's grab a circle and we want the circle, this one right here, that uh, creates uh, create a circle from a base plane and a radius. That'll just be easier. And so for the radius we want, what we want is um, it to be circled around the Z uh, axis. So for our radius we want the X value so it's circling around the Z and then for the base plane we want the world XY plane so you can see how the, this plane is oriented in um, here. Okay, so <laughs> sorry about that. Um, so we need the uh, we need another point that uh, tells us where the center of the plane will be. So we're going to do PT construct construct point plug it in, plug this in, and then we want the Z value to be uh, we want this point just to be the Z value. And I'm going to preview off so what we see is a little clearer. And so now we have a circle that's uh, lofted around in this shape. So if we want the top to be flat, we just uh, make the top of our graph flat. and uh, so we can change the shape however we want right here. And uh, it's looking okay, so let's loft through it. And let's do high quality. So there's our you know, cup that we can, or whatever, uh, that we can affect very easily with our graph. And if we want a uh, different kind of graph, we just go down to graph type, and if we want Perlin noise, we just do that, shallow or wide. Let me know in the comment section if you want to see more grasshopper videos. Um, I like doing them, but I'd like to know if it's uh, worth my time or not.